fight commentary breakdowns here. So, the Tai Chi Masters in red. The boxing former pro boxing girl is with red gloves. So she's in the black. Ooh, nice. Notice she moves very different than Zhang Mei Li, right? Zhang Mei Li, the other boxing girl we featured. The other boxing girl's a lot more spazzy. Oof, ow, she's been connecting. She's a lot more flowy. So, right now, um, our Tai Chi master claims to be of similar lineage to our notorious Ma Bao Guo. So, that might say something about why and how he even considers himself a master. But, you know, he calls himself that. Um, also, I'm pretty sure our boxing girl is actually taller and has a reach advantage. So, checking the jabs. Ooh, one, two. She's got a southpaw advantage in addition to a reach advantage, right? If you don't know how to deal with a southpaw, you're just lost as this Tai Chi master's lost. Man, the jabs are connecting. The crosses are connecting. Our ref's giving him... Oh, I thought the ref was giving him a standing count. Not at all. Look at that. He's just... You could say maybe those are some Tai Chi moves. I don't know. After all, Tai Chi Quan, right? Quan fist. Tai Chi fist. So, she is just peppering him with shots from everywhere. Also, guys, notice being a former pro boxer, she actually has her mouth guard in. Oh, look at that. Just peppering him head to body. Unlike the other boxing girl we featured, how she didn't have a mouth guard. Isn't that a little cringe? This boxing girl... We should feature her more. Yes, okay. All right, she's not influencer type of look, so she cuts her hair short. But I think skill-wise, she's way better than Zhang Mei Li. So now let's slow it down. So she just pulls back a little, evades that first jab he throws. And so a little bit of an awkward angle off, but it worked for her. Look at that. Evaded the cross and then came back with a cross of her own. So... The, oh, I see the Tai Chi guy's trying almost like backhands a little bit. His range is completely wrong. See, she ducked and then came back with another cross. That was a hook that connected. Oh, he's coming back. And she, ooh, she sort of ate an elbow of his unintentional. So, you know, I can understand how in this first round, he might have thought he had a chance, right? Because... She was more feeling him. She she formed him back a little bit. Got him back for that elbow. So the ref's preventing the clinch. So here we go. This is the second part. Oof. Look at that. The cross definitely dazed him, you noticed. Dazed him. So he was never the same after that cross, you see? He's never the same. And then he just kept getting jabbed and crossed after that. Yeah. I thought here the ref was going to give him a standing count, but the ref didn't. Kind of weird. I don't know why. So, and then here. Guys, sorry that it was filmed in vertical. Not my footage, okay? I'm just analyzing and reacting. So, that was a great angle she cut. And that angle was so good that his, like, swinging kind of, um, almost like a, um, I don't even know how to go, like a hammer, but like an angled hammer fist didn't even connect with her. Another jab hook. Notice that her hands are kind of, a little down now. She realizes, okay, there's no threat. And here she just kind of peppers him. Kind of funny. That body shot looked like it kind of hurt. So, and then basically he was just, he was covering up, but he had nothing. Okay, one last attempt. And then she angled off that and just huh, pepper him again. <laughs> Man, at this point, the ref should probably just stop it. Right? Yeah, the ref stopped it. That makes sense. <laughs> like always, guys, please leave a comment. And if you can, don't just subscribe, but become a channel member. It'll really help this channel. Now, some updates. Shinigami definitely will be back. My physical therapist, Nick Davis, will definitely be back for another video, too. There's an Aikido place near me, so I'm going to check that place out. Also, I checked out a place called Mudo. It's like a Korean version, a karate sort of hybrid. So I will probably do a little reflection on my experience on Fight Commentary Chats. So for those of you looking for more content, those are some things to come. Okay, guys, leave a comment. Let me know what lessons, jokes, etc. you learned. As always, try to be respectful, please. Talk to you guys soon.